Hi artists, I hope you enjoyed part two of our freedom quilt lesson. Um, this week, what I'd like you to do, you are going to be turning in two quilt patches um, and you are going to be taking a picture of uh, your quilt patches and uploading them into the Google Doc that I have attached to this. I have a demonstration video that shows you exactly um, how to take a picture of your work. All right, so the first um, quilt pattern that you are going to take a picture of is the North Star that you created last week. And then I want you to choose another one of uh, the Freedom Quilt Patches. And I want you to color that one as well. Now I'm going to be taking your images and combining them into one giant digital image of a quilt. And we're gonna be um, using this as part of our Black History Month celebration. All right, so you have 12 different patterns to choose from. You uh, it can print them off if you have a printer at home. If you don't have a printer at home, don't worry. Remember, in last week's example, I showed you exactly how to create a square. I'm going to uh, do a quick recap. Okay, so if you don't have a printer at home, you're going to create your own um, quilt patch. So you need a square piece of paper first, so you're going to fold this one up to the size match, and you're going to cut off this little flap here at the top. Okay, then when you open it up, we're going to do a series of folds. The folds are going to give us a grid pattern that we can then use um, to create our patch. Okay, so first we're going to fold it in half up. Okay. I'm going to fold it in half again. When I open it up, I see that I have four rows across. Now I'm going to fold it the other way. And I'm going to fold it in half one more time. Okay. And then I'm going to use these lines as my a grid to help me, me grab a marker to help me create my pattern. So I'm going to pick an easier one to show you. All right, let's do, we'll work on this one. This is called the shoe fly pattern. Okay, so again, you need a straight edge or a ruler. And to create the shoe fly pattern, I'm going to find this first fold right here, line my ruler up along the edge, draw straight down. I'm going to find this fold right here, draw straight down. I'm going to find the first fold here at the bottom, straight across. I'm going to draw a line up here. Straight across. And the last thing on the shoe fly pattern is to draw a diagonal line across these bottom squares. Okay, and that is how you draw the shoe fly pattern if you don't have a printer. Now, just like last week, you may either um, create a collage using any kind of papers that you have on hand, uh, scrapbook papers, old photos, um, old calendars, whatever you have, painted papers of old art projects that you don't want to use anymore, you can upcycle them, um, or 
if you simply want to use uh, crayons, markers, colored pencils, um, you're welcome to do that on your square as well. Uh, this time, what I'd like you to focus a little more on is creating a pattern inside of each patch, or a smaller piece, I should say. Let's really try to make this look like fabric. So if you don't have pretty designed papers, we're just going to pretend. It doesn't matter. I'm going to draw something different inside of each one. Okay, and then you can color this however you choose. So again, you are going to be submitting two patches this week and uploading the image into Google Docs. You are not creating a Flipgrid. It's a little crooked. Okay, so you should have your North Star patch from last week. And you are either printing out um, a new square and drawing patterns and coloring it. Or, um, if you don't have a printer, you're going to create your own quilt square. You can do the shoe fly, which I just showed you. And remember, it's very important to add some kind of patterns or detail to really make this look like it is um, made from fabric. All right, well, I hope you have fun and I can't wait to see what you create and to put all of these together into our own giant school-wide uh, quilt. All right, until next time, bye.